Mystery Kids, I hope that you have had a great week so far. On Sunday, we learned about the book of Revelation. And Miss Elizabeth, or should I say Professor Andy Future, did a great job about teaching us how Jesus is coming again. And when he does, he is coming for all of those who trust in him as a savior. And he is going to bring us to heaven. What an amazing day that is going to be. So today we're going to do a little activity and for this activity you are going to need a writing utensil and then something like a little piece of paper that will stick on you like a post-it note, like several of them, empty stickers or even little pieces of paper with tape. All of that will do. So I was thinking about all of the names that I have and nicknames and how people address me and so I wanted to share some of them with you. So growing up my name was Teresa Ann Bullard but when I got married my name changed to Teresa Ann Swan. When I was younger my friends and my family they called me Terry for short for Teresa. When I became a teacher they called me Miss Bullard. When I became a pastor, they called me Pastor Teresa. Some of the little kids in Kids Club, it's so cute. They get a little confused and they say, Mrs. Pastor Teresa, and it's really cute. It always makes me laugh. Out at Cheyenne Territory, my name is Betty Sue Butterfield. A lot of kids at Kids Club, they call me Miss Teresa. My aunt and uncle in college, for some reason, I don't really know, they started calling me TC. I think it means top cat. Then one time I ordered pizza and they delivered it and my name was on the side of the box and it was spelt wrong, like really wrong. And then my friends were all laughing and then they started calling me Thursa just to get me aggravated. And then my nieces and nephews, they call me Auntie Tree. Some of my friends, they just call me T. But my favorite is many, many of my friends and my granddaughters, they call me Tree. Now I have lots of names, but God has names for me too and things that he thinks of me. He thinks of me as chosen. He thinks of me as beloved, wonderfully made, redeemed. All of these are amazing. He thinks of me as set apart from the others. I am forgiven. I am accepted. I am valuable. I am desired, and this is my absolute favorite, Daughter of the King. Now, as you can see, I have lots of names and lots of nicknames. So now it is your turn. You are going to take your post-it notes or your empty stickers, and you are gonna write your names, your nicknames, what people think about you and how they look at you. Have your family help. You're gonna write them all out. You're gonna stick them all over you, and then you're gonna take a picture, and you are gonna post it in the comments below. While you're doing yours, I'm gonna do mine too. So you ready? Let's go. Wow, boys and girls, I have a lot of names, and I'm sure you do too. I can't wait to see your photos. Well, just like we have many names, God has many names also, and we see some of them in the book of Revelations. In Revelations 19, Jesus' identity is declared as king, and we can read more and more names of God. Faithful and true, the word of God, King of kings and Lord of lords. A name so holy and beautiful that no one will know what his name is except for him. In Revelations 22, we find even more names. Jesus is God, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. In other places in the Bible, we can find even more names of God. Jehovah Jireh, my provider. Elohim, God. Yahweh, I am, Abba, El Shaddai, which means God Almighty, Jehovah Rapha, which means the Lord who heals you. And there are so, so many more names. Jesus is truly more glorious than we can ever imagine. 
And someday we are going to spend eternity with him forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. That is going to be so amazing. I can't wait. I hope that is one of your goals too. Today, this is what I want you to do. I want you to think about those names of God. I want you to say them out loud. And I want you to say them as worship and praise to the Lord and to declare who he is. That is going to be an amazing activity. Boys and girls, it was so good to be with you today. I hope you have a great rest of the week and we'll see you soon. We're the Victory Kids. Yeah, we're growing in Jesus. Read the word every day because we need it. Making friends one kid at a time, even the ones in the back of the line. We're the Victory Kids. Serving others with our gifts and talents. Put others first, yeah, that's the challenge. Reaching the world, we're making disciples. It's us right here. We're the Victory Kids.